Hi, I'm Jimmy, Product Specialist with Expo. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate iCert, one of the many features of Expo's unique IOLM. iCert is a certification tool for fiber optic cables that provides a list of predefined test configurations to apply pass-fail thresholds against the international standard bodies, such as ISO, IEC, and TIA. All you need to do is to select the proper cable standard that you need to use for this test, and the unit will automatically apply the right pass-fail thresholds based on the selected standard. So there's no need to uh, buy, read, or analyze any complex standard documents. Uh, Expo did this job for you in this simplified tool. So it's an error-free testing, uh, avoiding risk of entering wrong values or getting wrong test results. Plus, you get to stay up to date with the latest industry standards. So let me show you how this works. So this is the main IOLM page. And as for any tests, we need to set first the test wavelengths. And in this case, I'm using 850 and 1300 nanometers. I'm also using a launch and a receive cable, which is the best practice to characterize fiber optic cables. Now for iCERT to select a cable standard, I'm going to go in the test config and select. Here I have a list of all the available uh, industry cable standards, such as TIA and IEC. So we can scroll through the list and select the proper one. So for the sake of this test today, I'm going to use the TIA568, which is probably the most common one. All right, so now I'm ready to launch uh, an acquisition and test my fiber. Now when I press Start, the IOLM is dynamically adjusting the test parameters. The IOLM will look for the link under test and will set all the basic OTDR parameters so you don't have to worry about those. You can ensure consistency and maximum test results. The IOLM is launching multiple acquisitions, multiple pulse widths at multiple wavelengths. And what we look at is a combined link view with all those pulses and multi-wavelengths all at once. So now that the test is completed, let's look at the test results. So in this page, uh, first of all, we see that we tested this fiber against the TIA568. The TIA568 pass-fail criteria were applied on this, uh, on this link. I have my first and last connector that tested pass in this case. I also get a global pass-fail status, which indicates that my fiber is correct. In this same page, we get all the information we need to properly certify the cable. On top here, we have the total length of the fiber. We have the total link loss and the total link ORL for both wavelengths 850 and 1300. Now I can save this file. And by doing so, the IOLM will automatically generate a test report, which I'm going to show you. So to look at the test report, I'm going to have to go in the file manager in my IOLM folder. And here, I have my PDF report. So the, this is the complete test report. On top, we have the global pass fail, indicating that the fiber, that this fiber is uh, pass. I get the file information. I also get the units information, as well as the IOLM results. If I scroll down a little bit, I can see my entire link with my first and last connector, as well as the OTDR trace that was generated from these results. Scrolling to the second page, I look here at the test configuration where I see that this fiber was tested against the TIA568 cable standard. And I also have a, a, a C logo, which certifies that this is an industry cable standard. So as you can see, iCERT is an error-free and simplified way to certified fiber optic cables. Thank you for watching.